hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial today we are going to study about uh, another transducer uh, which is LVDT now LVDT is the short form for linear variable differential transformer so it is basically a transformer which is used as a transducer for sensing various parameters such as displacement force pressure uh, so let's discuss about it so the first question is what is LVDT so LVDT as I said it's a, it's, it stands for linear variable differential transformer the main task of the LVDT is to convert a linear motion or a straight line motion into an electrical signal now, electrical signal means voltage or current signal now it is basically used as a secondary transducer in conjunction with a primary transducer now primary transducer or primary sensor as you all know convert physical parameters such as force pressure uh, uh, for um, displacement into mechanical signals into mechanical output now the secondary transducer such as LVDT convert those mechanical output into electrical signals that is current or voltage signal so it is basically a secondary transducer which is used in conjunction with a primary transducer so it is used for measurement of displacement force pressure acceleration etc so basically these four quantities are mainly uh, are measured or it's used for the measurement of these four uh, physical parameters so let's uh, understand how LVDT is designed now basically it consists of the following components as I said it is a transformer it's basically a transformer so it must have a primary winding it has two secondary windings this is the interesting part about LVDT it has two secondary windings which are connected in phase opposition mode now what is phase opposition opposition mode we will get to know about that then we have a hollow insulated bobbin uh, which is the frame over which the windings are wound over we have a ferromagnetic or movable core or armature which moves in and out of the bobbin and we have uh, AC supply which is connected across the primary winding so these are the basic uh, elements which are involved in the LVDT here is the uh, circuit connection of the LVDT as I said we have a insulated hollow bobbin it is hollow so that the ferromagnetic core can move in and out of it we have the primary winding which is connected across uh, an AC supply and we have two secondary windings which are connected in phase opposition mode see here the polarity of voltage across this uh, the first primary uh, secondary winding is in this way E1 which is used uh, as a notation to uh, signify the voltage appearing across the first secondary winding and here the polarity is opposite because it is connected in phase opposition mode so the output voltage which appears across which is taken uh, across these two windings is actually the difference between these two voltages they oppose each other each other so it is actually the difference between these two secondary output voltages okay so this is called as the phase opposition mode of connection of the two secondary windings now this uh, core this uh, ferromagnetic core which moves in and out of this hollow bobbin it actually couples the primary winding with each of the secondary windings two secondary windings now the position of the core controls the degree of coupling between the primary windings and the two secondary windings so which 
secondary winding is more coupled with the primary winding it is decided by the position of the ferromagnetic core and this is the main operating principle of the LVDT. Now the free end or this end of uh, the magnetic ferromagnetic core is actually connected to the point where the displacement or this linear motion force or pressure is to be measured. So when force pressure or displacement occurs at this point this bobbin this uh, sorry this uh, core it actually moves in and out there is to and fro displacement of the ferromagnetic core this changes the degree of coupling between the primary winding and the uh, two secondary windings as a result there is a differential output voltage appearing as E0 which is actually the difference between the voltages E1 and E2. So this is the main operating principle. So let us see how it works. So as I said the to and fro movable core couples the primary winding with the two secondary windings. They are connected in uh, phase opposition or series opposition mode or differential mode. It means the output voltage there have a phase shift of 180 degree between them. So if uh, one of the output voltages E1 across the first uh, secondary winding has a phase angle of let us say 5 degrees then E2 will have a phase shift of 180 degree from E1 that is the that is the principle of series opposition or uh, uh, differential mode of connection of the two secondary windings. Then the difference of the two secondary winding voltages appear as E0 the difference between these two secondary winding voltages it is given as E0 this is taken as output. Now when the core is at the center okay when the core is at the exactly at the center the degree of coupling of the primary winding with each of the secondary windings is equal okay the primary winding is similarly or equally coupled with the two secondary windings so the output voltages e1 and e2 are equal in magnitude and opposite in phase so they cancel out each other and the net output voltage e0 is equal to 0 volt okay the two voltages e1 and e2 are equal in magnitude and opposite in phase so when we sub get we subtract them the output will be obviously zero now this happens when the position of the core is exactly in the middle okay because the degree of coupling of the primary winding with each of the secondary windings is the same now this position okay at the center is called as the null position it is the null position of the core okay the reference position now when <coughs> the core either moves in this direction towards the right or to the left extreme left the degree of coupling of the primary winding with each of the secondary winding changes now when at this position when the core is towards the extreme right the degree of coupling between the primary winding and this winding the second secondary winding will increase obviously the output voltage appearing across this secondary winding that is E2 will be more than E1 as a result the differential output will have a non-zero value okay suppose the core moves to the extreme left then the coupling between the primary winding and the first secondary winding will increase as a result E1 will increase in magnitude as the, there is a 180 degree phase shift the net differential output will have a non-zero value only when the core is in the middle the degree of coupling between the primary winding and each of the secondary windings two secondary windings is the same so the output voltage are equal and opposite equal in magnitude and opposite in phase that is why the output voltage is 0. So in the functioning of the LVDT 
the null position the reference position is very critical okay or oh, the only the 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 principle which is exploited here is that the change in the position of the core changes the differential output voltage because the degree of coupling between the primary winding and the two secondary windings it changes this free end of the core is connected to the point where the displacement force or pressure is to be measured as a result of that that force pressure or displacement can be related with respect to the output voltage now the mathematical expression for the output voltage in terms of the lvdt characteristics the output voltage e0 can be written mathematically as 16 pi q f i subscript p n subscript p n subscript f by 10 to the power 9 ln r subscript o by r subscript i into 2 bx by 3 w into 1 minus x square by 2 b square it's it's it looks a bit complicated this mathematical expression so if you uh want to note it down you can do so uh it, well there is no need to memorize it but just for the sake of understanding you should know how the output voltage is related with the various coil parameters now here the f obviously is the excitation frequency or the frequency of the ac supply which is connected across the primary winding i subscript p is the primary winding current or the current flowing through the primary winding n subscript p is the number of turns of the primary winding n subscript s is the number of turns of the secondary windings the two secondary windings then we have is r subscript o and r subscript i now r subscript o is the outer radius of the coil and r subscript i is the inner radius of the coil then we have b b is the width of the primary coil and w is the width of the secondary coil x is the displacement of the core or the distance of the core from the null position okay this x is the distance from the core from this null position suppose the core is here the distance between this and this point is called as x so that is the displacement of the core then we have 16 pi q which we all know it is a constant value it, it can be treated as a constant and uh, this expression if you want to uh, note it down you can do so well there is no need to uh, memorize it just have a good understanding of uh, how the output voltage is in relation with the various parameters so again this is the lvdt characteristics where there is a plot between the core displacement and the output voltage core displacement in x axis output voltage in y axis so as i said as there is a when the core is at the center position the output voltage is zero well there is actually a small amount of very small amount of output voltage still appearing uh because uh, of uh, various uh, well all the coil characteristics they are not ideal okay so therefore there is a small amount of very very small amount of output voltage even when the core is at the center position or the null position or the reference position but this is generally neglected because it's very small very small value so as the displacement of the core takes place in a certain direction there is a net output voltage e0 which follows a certain pattern when there is displacement in the other direction this is towards the right and this is towards the left the output voltage its magnitude stays the same okay this follows the same pattern well here we have taken the magnitude of the output voltage so the magnitude the values will always remain the same only the core displacement will be towards left or right okay no need to worry about this small amount of output voltage which appears even when the core is at the center position it is generally neglected 
So this is the LVDT characteristics which is a plot between displacement of the core or the uh, ferromagnetic uh, uh, core which moves in and out of the hollow bobbin and the output voltage E subscript O. So another thing is that in between these points, these two points, the output voltage almost varies linearly with displacement. After this point, there is non-linearity, it shows some random behavior. Up to this point, it is almost linear. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, again, let us have a quick recap. So, this is the basic circuit connection of uh, the LVDT. We have the primary winding, two secondary windings, an AC supply voltage connected across the primary winding. And it is the position of the movable core which controls the degree of coupling between the primary windings and the two secondary windings. And these two secondary windings are connected in differential mode or series opposition mode such that the output voltage is the difference between these two output voltages E1 and E2. So, there is a direct relationship between displacement of the core with respect to the output voltage. So, here we have discussed uh, some of the basic concepts related to uh, LVDT. So, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.